I'm sharing something that most people and even most doctors never talk about, but it could be quietly sabotaging your health behind the scenes. What is it? It's zombie cells. Yes, zombie cells are real. No, they're not just science fiction. These are damaged dysfunctional cells that refuse to die, much like a zombie, and they can be lingering in your body and accelerating the aging process, inflammation, and even chronic disease. So stick with me because I'm going to share exactly what they are, how they can wreck your body, and most importantly, how to fight these zombie cells naturally. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please turn on your notifications as well so you never miss the chance to take your health to the next level and of course naturally. Let's start with the science. What are these so-called zombie cells? They're formerly called senescent cells, cells that have stopped dividing, but they refuse to die like they should through a normal process called apoptosis. Now instead, they stay alive, releasing off toxic inflammatory molecules, damaging nearby healthy cells, and could be clogging up your tissues. And just like zombies in a movie that you may have seen, they don't help, they just harm. What's more is that the zombie cells interfere with your stem cells, the very cells that are supposed to help to regenerate your body. So what happens? Well, you start aging more quickly. You feel more tired and lethargic all the time. Your risk of chronic disease goes way up. Yes, this is super scary, but there is some good news and there's something you can do about these zombie cells. But first, let's talk about the causes of these zombie cells to form in the first place. Here are the top culprits. Okay, the first one, aging. So your cells naturally slow down and accumulate damage as you age, causing more of those zombie cells. Free radicals and toxic exposure as well. This could be from pollution, of course, chemicals in your environment, in your food, and processed food is gonna be higher in these free radicals and these toxins, leading potentially to more of these zombie cells. Chronic inflammation from stress, poor gut health, an unhealthy microbiome, and maybe from even hidden infections that haven't been fully resolved can lead to more zombie cells. Your mitochondria and mitochondrial dysfunction, so your cellular energy engines are breaking down and and they're not being properly recycled, leading to more of those zombie cells. A weakened immune system, so your body isn't clearing out those damaged cells effectively as it should. And the big one, lack of sunlight, lack of proper grounding are going to affect your mitochondria in a not good way. So not healthy, of course, when we're not getting enough of that natural sunlight on our skin, in our eyes every single day to lessen our inflammatory response and to deal with our body's natural autophagy processes to clean up those zombie cells. Even things like oxidative stress and DNA damage can all trigger those zombie cells from forming. And yes, zombie cells have even been linked to things like Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, and of course, premature aging. Now, did you know that zombie cells can actually promote protein aggregation in your brain, one of the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease? This is how deep this issue actually goes. But the good news is, is that there's hope. Lifestyle and natural medicine can help to reverse the damage, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next video. Now, you know that I'm all about getting natural sunlight exposure, but you've gotta do it safely. I want you to check out how to do that in this video, six safe sun exposure tips. I'll see you there.